room. We're in the wrong place. Ricky's not in the B room. Am I in the wrong place? Marv's in the B room, but okay. Ricky is right here with me. Hi. See, Let he's me always. There you go. I can't sit there. It's wet. It's a bit wet. I'll, I'll mop that up for he's you. He's always on my mind. That's why I always say he's. <clears> on <throat> Uh, so, two singers yeah. in the running. Uh -huh. Are you ready for a fight? I am. I've been battling all week. Um, yeah, we're, we're excited because although I think we've got the best singers, we need to you know, bring, out, bring out the big guns now and we need the people at home to form our little army and vote for Emmanuel and Stevie. OK, well, uh, your first, first man up. Who is it? How low can you go? Yes. It's Emmanuel. Emmanuel. <laughs> Emmanuel, you know, everyone thought he was a shy guy, but then if you do a performance like that on Saturday Night TV, you're not shy. You just, you know when to let it out. That was an amazing performance, and you can't say that was a shy person singing up there. I can take no credit for what he just did up there, because it's so natural and it's just a gift. I don't know where it comes from, but I'm glad we found it, because he would have hid it forever. I had some time off rehearsal, and I thought I'd go to my little brother's school and surprise him. When I walked into the room, they knew who I was. It felt amazing. It made me feel so good inside. Hi, everyone. This is the best assembly we've had by far. It's fantastic to have my brother to come in and all my friends be happy. I think my brothers were really, really happy. I could see that they were quite proud that they had their big brother there, and it made me feel really good. The other thing about Emmanuel is that Emmanuel's got a very deep voice. I know, it's so cool. It seems to be getting deeper. I don't know what's going on with that. I don't really know how low my voice can go. Yes, yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't surprise me when Emmanuel says, yeah, really low. What surprises me when he starts singing? You don't have to be the loudest guy at the party to win. You can sit back and, when it's your turn, show them what you've got. And he does that every week. And if he keeps doing it the way he's doing it, then he could go all the way, definitely. Singing a whiter shade of pale, it's Emmanuel. Like that in the background, 
Oh, my word. Um, Ricky, yes. how happy are you with your man, Emmanuel? I'm really happy with you, Emmanuel. Um, I knew you could do it, and I, now you've just shone down that lens and you've gone into everyone's homes. And, you know, I think they're going to pick up those phones, and I, I, re I really believe it. Yeah, I think you've, you've, you've proved yourself to me. Thank you. I'm really happy. <laughs> how happy are you? I'm, I'm really, really happy. Like, seriously. Like... Don't make him talk, Ricky. Yeah. You know, it makes me go a bit funny. Yeah. Um, do, you feel, do you feel the vibrations through the floor? No. <laughs> because I can it's feel them from really here. It's really hot in here. Let's, let's talk to Tom. Um, yes. He has an incredible voice, doesn't he? What influences can you hear in it, Tom? Um, well, it all depends on which one he uses, because his, the, the, the bass side of his voice is, is so rich. And uh, there's a little Barry White in there, I, I hear. And then when he goes into that falsetto, well, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I can't think of anybody that, uh, that sounds like that, that has those two big, uh, two big guns, I would say, going for you, you know, the bass and then the, the high one. So I don't think you can, I can't compare Emmanuel to anybody, but, um, but whatever it is, whoever, whoever's been influencing him, it's, it's working. So I thought you did a great job. Thank you, Tom. Rita, what did you think? I love me some Emmanuel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, what I really loved the most was that I was actually shopping a few days ago, and there was someone that was working in a shopping mall that I was in, and they were like, hey, you know that Emmanuel guy, right? I'm like, well, I don't actually really know him, but, yeah, I do know him. He's on the show. She's like, well, I go to uni with him, and the whole uni love him. So it's like, you can, you're, you have the ability to connect to so many different age groups, and that's what I like about you. And, yeah, they'll pick up the phones, but you will all, you'll also sell records. Mm -hmm. You will, you will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coaches, thank you very much. If you yeah. want to vote for Emmanuel when the lines open later in the show, you will need to call 09015 228204 from a landline or 622204 from a mobile, or you can vote online for free. Just go to the website for all of the details. You need to get yourself up to Marvin in the pee room. Emmanuel, everyone. <laughs> Emmanuel. We've got Ricky in here as well, Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson's joined us. Well done, Emmanuel. Uh, uh, so the internet has been set alight with your questions tonight. The first Marvin asks is for you, Emmanuel. Uh, it's from Jackie. She says, if you could perform with any artist in the world, who would it be? Well, uh, it would definitely have to be Ricky Wilson. Ricky yeah. Wilson, of course. It's funny you say that because you're going to be performing with him later on in the show, right? Yeah. Dream come true for Emmanuel right there. Uh, the next one is for you, Joe, from Lauren. She says, can you twerk? <laughs> and if so, please, can we see it? Uh, I, I wouldn't say I can twerk, but when I sing, I do like a little shoulder twerk, so I go like this. Like Let's all do it. Like a little shoulder. shimmy. Yeah, yeah, there we yeah. go, shimmy, okay. yeah. That's cool, we'll, 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 we'll take that. Uh, the next Marvin asks is for Sheena. This is from Aaron Sheena. He says, are you single? And if you are, he'd like to take you out. Um, well, he can take me out, but he'll have to get through my boyfriend first. Ooh. And he's a, he's a bit of a muscle buff, you know. No, but in all honesty, Aaron, I hope you find the right woman for you. Because uh, she's out there. Speak to Aaron, he's down there. I'm not Aaron, Aaron, I hope you find the right woman for you. I'm sure you're a lovely guy. Good luck with that. Cheers, Aaron. Aaron, I tried to wingman you, but sorry, mate. I'll, I'll work on her, don't worry. Uh, Lucy, this question is for you. If Will I Am was a character in any musical, which character would he be? I think that he would be Willy Wonka in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, yeah, we'll take He's that. He's kind of a, you know, an inventor, a magician, and, and anything can happen. And he gave you his happen. golden ticket last he week? gave me his golden ticket, Of course yeah. he did. Uh, well, best of luck this week, Lucy, OK? If there's anything you're itching to ask these semi-finalists or our coaches, send your questions in via the Voice UK website, Facebook or Twitter, using the hashtag MarvinAsks. And I'll make sure I barricade them in this V-room until I get your answers, OK? Back to you, Em.